Whoa, man, you don't look good. You all right? I feel horrible, man. I don't know, I woke up with the flu or something. The flu? Did you call and let them know you're not gonna make it tonight? Oh, nah, nah I'm playing. I just, I, I gotta get up, move around a little bit. All right, man, I got you. All right, we're gonna do this, man. All right? All right. Dig deep, okay? I got your back. All right. Hey, man, I heard you weren't feeling too well earlier today. How you doing now? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to drink as much as possible. It's just, it's kind of hard to keep much of anything down right now, you know? Well, you don't look too good, man. We're going to need to get you on an IV. I'm going to tell Coach you can't play, all right? Nah, 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 nah. nah. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm not great, but I can play, you know? I, I just, I, I got to get out there, get warmed up, move around a little bit. I'll, I'll be fine, trust me. I don't know, man. I really don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> look, I'll be okay. If I get out there, I'm not looking too hot, you can tell Coach to sit me, all right? All right. I'm keeping a close eye on you, though, all right? You let me know right away if you're feeling lightheaded or anything. Yeah, I will, man. Yeah, what's up everybody? Today we are gonna try to have a flu game here with Denny Tyson, see how that goes. Tyson's feeling sick, and I asked my doctor, I'm like, what do you think is happening here? And he's like, it's two things. One is this uh, Milwaukee temperature here in Wisconsin is like negative 50 degrees in the middle of winter, so <laughs> you know, caught a little bit of a flu here. And he also said it's something about playing in Atlanta in general, just you know, playing with these Hawks and these players made me feel sick, so. Um, <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do here. At least we're playing against the Bucks in this flu game. We're not playing against too good of a team, so you know, if I'm not 100%, we could still, you know, make it a close game. But then who knows with these Hawks, man? Who knows? You see me early on get a Millsap in the game, and um, I had a dynamic goal to get at least 30 points in the game. So um, you know, hopefully we could do that. We're at six right now. We're out to a good start. Haven't missed a shot. Not too aggressive right now, and. You know, during this game, like, my stamina was actually affected. Mainly on defense, it was affected. Not too much on offense. I didn't really feel it much. But, you know, offense, the only thing I was feeling was the range, man. Pulling up that three-pointer, getting it to go. And, man, I'm just sick right now, man. I'm sick. I got the flu here. I'm trying to battle it out, see what I can do here. Um, I, I got a few assists here early on. And that's the thing, well, usually with these Hawks, is I'll get a lot of assists early on. And then as the game goes on, the players get tired or whatever. You know, no one's making buckets except for me. So that's just the way it is. I got to see if we can work it out. Hopefully, this game's a little bit different. I do need some help from my guys. Unfortunately, uh, Millsap couldn't get that easy layup to go there. That should have been an easy and one. But, of course, he gets blocked. <laughs> Look at Tice. Tired, tired, flu, all that stuff. Sick. But he's still able to get hyped after an and one dunk. Next play, um, a little bit of congestion in the lane. I give it to Millsap. And Millsap gets blocked for like a million times. So... You know, um, like I said previously, um, we're not spending too too much time in Atlanta here. Probably gonna be leaving soon. Um, the fact that I got the flu while I was in Atlanta definitely doesn't make me want to stay here much longer. So you know, um, we'll see how we could um see our exit strategy. You know, cause I don't think we're making any trades and stuff like that. So we're gonna make an exit strategy soon, man. In the meantime, though, I gotta make it through this game. Gotta try to help my teammates out. Gotta prove that, you know, I'm not a quitter or anything like that. Because the last thing I wanna do is prove that, and then all of a sudden, that hurts your rep in locker rooms and stuff like that. And, um, can affect, you know, your trade value and stuff like that. So we still gotta play strong for these Hawks right now. Kicking it out for Jeff T. T doesn't want the shot, so I gotta take it myself. It's all good. I need the points to get to, um, 30. We're almost there. We need one more bucket, and we're at 30, and we complete that dynamic goal. And, um, I mean, I would've let Jeff T to take the shots, but that's all good. And here, trying to go for 31. One, and we get it right there. Get that three-pointer to go. We're feeling good. We beat our dynamic goal. Yet we're still feeling bad because, you know, we still have the flu and stuff like that. You see Brandon Knight taking me off the dribble. Like I said, I was kind of um, like my player would feel. It's like if you're injured in 2K, that's the way I felt in this thing. So, you know, it was basically that same um, feeling. You're tired. You're sluggish and stuff like that. But you're still crashing the boards. Your teammates can't make jack, but um, you still got to crash the boards for your team and see what you could do. Lou Williams. I tried a little <coughs> Lou Williams run point for a few plays since I had this flu, but um, that went to hell pretty quick because Lou Williams threw like back-to-back -back turnovers. So I was like, all right, taking this myself, taking it all the way to the rim, knocking Larry Sanders down. Am I the sick one or is Larry the sick one? Like, what are you doing, Sanders? And <laughs> 
Oh man, oh man, and one on Ilya Silva, second poster dunk, and a block there by Tice. You wouldn't be able to tell he's sick. You would think, you know, I'm probably the healthiest person on my team trying to bang home that three point, don't get to go, but there you see Horford getting the offensive board. But yeah, you think I'm the most healthy one of my team the way we're playing. This fourth quarter was um, some classic Hawks versus Bucks stuff here. <laughs> you know, it was. Brick show, brick show, constant bricks. Um, Jeff T, brick. Jeff T was playing like, um, ass cheeks is an understatement. Look at this, 1.0 for eight. Like, for some reason he was in the starting lineup, and now Lou Williams was kind of confusing. And um, I don't even know. Jeff T was pretty damn frustrated. And check out Lou Williams not taking the open mid range and then throwing it to Millsap, who um, who turns it over there. So. <clears throat> You know, we're still struggling, man. It's, it's keeping the Bucks in the game. My teammates would just execute. We would stay in this. But, you know, Lou Williams, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. None of these guys know what to do. But there, Lou Williams for three. Getting that one to go. We need that shot to make it back a five-point game. Now we up by two. And Tice gets that three-pointer to go with 36 seconds remaining there. We're feeling good. But then here comes Brandon Knight. Just pulling up the three in transition. Did not see that one coming. Played a little bit off. I didn't think he'd do that. But, um... I guess good play by him, and now we definitely need a bucket going for the dagger. And this is when you know Denny Tice is sick. Denny Tice is the king of daggers, and we miss a wide open right one right there. Shook Brandon Knight, but couldn't get it to go. And now the Bucks with a chance to tie the game or take the lead with 16 seconds left. Larry Sanders looking to inbound. Tice putting pressure on Knight, and Millsap gets the steal and gets fouled. Oh man, what a big play by my teammates, man. First of all, I have to deny Knight. The rest of my teammates did the denials, and now we're going to the free throw line. You know what? Lou Williams, I'm going to put you in this spot. Prove me that you're worth at least something to make these free throws. So, you know, he makes the first one there. <coughs> Plus, I'm sick here. I can't take free throws and stuff like that. So, he makes the first one, and second one is good. We really need that second one there. Now, we got to do is not foul, not allow any four-point plays. Uh, Brandon Knight wants to take another three in transition. Let him do it, but he doesn't even take it. He kicks it out to Butler, and the Butler is not getting it to go. We get the rebound, and we end this game. Tice is going to, you know, run out the clock here. So, um... You know, that's it for this game. Um, I'll catch you guys after this um, cutscene, the press conference, and the um, thing with Jackson Ellis here. I'll catch you guys then. Hopefully, I'm feeling better by then. We heard before the game that you had the flu, and it was evident you weren't feeling quite yourself on the court tonight. Despite that, you managed to fight through it and have a great game. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling great. No flu virus going to hold me down. Yeah, I got too much game for that. Next time, I'm going to have to try playing with one hand tied behind my back or something. See if that makes it any harder. Yeah, I may be sick, but I'm feeling pretty unstoppable right now. You know what I'm saying? Yo. What's up, Jack? What up? You ready for your little lesson tonight? Oh, so you the professor, huh? Man, you always got something to say, man. Hey, they say I'm competitive by nature. <laughs> Competitive. More like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see where you're going with that, bro, and I don't think you want to drop that. <sighs> Come on, man. You know I'm just messing with you. So what's up? What's up with the game tonight, man? We got to get something going on for a little friendly competition. <laughs> All right. How about whoever has the least amount of assists has to tweet something good about the other guy? Deal? All right, deal. We both know you hate to pass. <laughs> I'm going to win this one without even trying, man. Oh, shit, you underestimate me, dog. It's already over, baby. I ain't. Yo, what's up, guys? We are back after meeting up with Jax and Ellis. And normally, when you hear whoever gets the most assists is going to win the challenge, you think, no, no contest. Denny's going to win that. But when Denny Tice is on the Hawks, all of a sudden, it's up for debate who's going to win this. So, I don't know. Thankfully, Matt Scott gets that layup to go there to help us out. And, you know, I would be really confident that we would get it if we were on the Timberwolves. But on this team, we're going to have to work a little bit hard to see what we could do. I'm also going to have to make sure, you know, I um, make sure Jackson Ellis scores a few points and he's in addition all to his teammates. So, if he wants to take that folder in the lane, let him do it. And these Kings are actually doing well this season. As you see, they're at a 14 in the Western Conference. So, um, whatever Jackson Ellis and Boogie and all them got going in Sacramento, apparently is working. As you see, the halftime numbers were up. Barely in the assist column, five to three. We're gonna have to get something going because um, 
That's a little bit too close for comfort. Though, unfortunately, my dude, Damari Carroll, does not do anything to help out the cause. But here, Denny ties getting the steal. And I'm looking to throw an assist to Lou Williams, but Lou Williams falls on his ass. And I am feeling better after the flu game, man. As you can tell, boy, sounds better. We sound better. We sound more healthy. We're playing more healthy. We're not playing all sluggish, which allows me to play some pretty good defense and dunk it on offense. Being Jackson, else off the dribble. Not exactly taking the pick, but I'm um, kind of taking it. In a way, as you see, we're trying to draw a little double team in. I could dish it off there, but I don't even trust my teammates at this point because we're down a few points in this game. We actually have to win. Forget the dumb Jackson Ellis challenge. We're actually trying to win this game right now as Jeff T knocks down the three pointer. Rare jump shot that Teague actually knocks down. Here, I was looking for Jenkins, but the ball gets bad out, so I gotta take a bad shot to beat the second quarter buzzer. And it goes down. Actually, third quarter buzzer there by Tice to tie the game up. It should have been three by Jenkins instead. Somehow, that horrific three point shot by Tice goes down. You see Millsap getting that bucket to go. Our assist number, we're in double digits right now. A rare sight for the um, Atlanta Hawks version of Denny Tice as we hit up Carroll. Carroll hits the jumper. My teammates are flowing. We're up by five in this game. Even I'm flowing, beating the buzzer there. Fading away and hitting 37 points. 11 assists for Denny. Make that 12 assists as Jenkins gets the finish to go there. And looks like we're going to win this game. So, Everything's looking good in Hawksland right now. That's to mean we're not getting out of here. We're still getting out of Atlanta. Don't worry about that. But um, for one day, things are going okay. You see, we stopped Jackson Ellis. I mean, I was letting Jackson Ellis get a few more drives to the bucket rather than, you know, giving him passing lanes and stuff like that. Oh, man. Trying to get the and one there. Instead, we just draw the foul on Macklemore. You see Jackson Ellis going behind the line there. But he only has four assists. So, the assist thing is going pretty good in our favor right there. As um, the connect calls a timeout there. I didn't mean to do that. But out of the timeout, we find Lou Williams. Oh, Bungle Williams cannot hit that three-pointer to go. Instead, we're only up by two. And Mba Mute ties the game up on that jumper off the inbounds play. We're up by two. And then Denny getting the steal. Trying to get the and one. But instead, fouled by Jackson Ellis. Then he only makes one free throw, though. So it's only a three-point game here. 2.33 left. Using a little pick-and-roll action. Millsap to the lane. And he does not even get fouled, man. Not even fouled. He just misses the layup. It's like, all right, Millsap. It's now minutes 29 left. I got to find a three-point shooter, which is Carroll and Carroll knocking down the big shot. The Mari Carroll showing up in the clutch here. Jackson L trying to do what he can for his team, but Boogie Cousins gets blocked by Tice. Tice on the ground doing all he can for his team. Jackson L is driving once again, Cousins. This time he gets the layup to go there, not getting blocked by Tice. Two point lead under a minute to go. Tice for three. That's good. Danny Tice with a cold blooded three. Once again to beat the buzzer with a deep shot. Now we're only up by five here trying to get a stop. But DeMarcus Cousins gets a free run to the rim there. So now it's dagger time. I'm feeling healthy. So I think we could get this dagger. Or I could give it to Damari Carroll who has a wide open run to the rim. And Carroll gets it to go. The dagger always doesn't always have to be a jump shot for Denny. It could be a shot for someone else. As we can test Jackson Nelson's three-pointer. No good, but DeMarcus Cousins gets that layup to go. So... You know, we're going to have to play the free throw game a little bit. And eventually, we do come out with the win. So, hope you guys do like the, on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more um, NBA 2K14 micro games. As you see, Jackson Ellis um, living up to um, our bet there. He's bound down to me. So, yeah, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I will catch you guys next time.